Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. I hope y'all are doing well. It's the 15th of November and it is a freaking gorgeous day. The energy is so light and bright and just has this deep visceral feeling of optimism. Like everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Now many people are going through a little bit of ups and downs with um, feeling health stuff, you know, things that are merging, coming to the surface to be purged. Uh, it could be in the form of respiratory, it could be in the form of feeling like you're going to get an allergy, it could be in the form of stomach stuff, it could be in the form of UTIs because kidneys are really releasing a lot of stuff. So we're getting a lot of acidics in the body. So there's a pH imbalance going on, and that's a pH balance of the brain, <laughs> pH balance of the emotions, a pH balance of your etheric, your, your, the ethers around you, and what's going on inside. So those of us who maybe have a little more um, yeast can feel imbalanced, vertigo, uh, not feeling so stable. Um, so watch your sugar intake and, uh, sugar is, uh, well, you know, there's little gremlins in there and they wreak havoc everywhere and break down your cellular regeneration. So they're slow to regenerate because they're not as strong and they're not multiplying as nicely as they could if there was more balance of pH and homeostasis. We've got the angst of some different chakras happening. So heart palpitations, maybe some second chakra of, woo, I feel like I'm about to go down the roller coaster. You know, those kinds of things. And it's all about your beautiful, sexual, loving, creative energy that is flowing and it's really trying to ring out just bring it out so some of us feel this need to stretch and to snap crackle pop and we just can't get enough and then we want to but then we have no energy and we're like screw this it's just too much some of us are sleeping like babies some of us are tossing like crazy people so as we're moving into the holidays and maybe some thought processes about that, let's reel it back in. Let's reel it back in. Really ask yourself, where am I in this moment? How do I really feel in this moment? Can I just accept the fact that I, I'm okay and I think I feel pretty good in that okayness. If I jump too far out here on my to-do list or what's a coming or what I need to accomplish or what I have to face and I don't want to, if I go too far back there, I'm bringing up all the stuff that I can't resolve. So if I stay here in the moment and I really align with my breath and I really become aware that I'm pretty good and these are some things I might do differently moving forward from the divine breath with all things in love and let go of the stuff back there that absolutely is it's weighing you down it's like playing tug-of-war backwards seriously folks it's like pulling that tug and you got no idea all the albatrosses and the weight that are just anchoring you down, preventing you from honestly seeing the now and will absolutely dim your lights to see it forward. So if we could just reel it back in, cut off all that stuff, say, okay, I can't change a damn thing. I love myself. I'm sorry. I forgive. I forgive those who trespassed against me. Please forgive me for trespassing against anyone else. 
whatever way that is, whatever way that is, we are human and we are going to have human reactions. It's just in us. We just have to say, is this becoming of me, of the real me? Is this becoming behavior? Does this behavior have integrity? Does this behavior show respect? Because if it doesn't, you're creating harm. And we cannot control the exterior stuff. We can only set the control dials here. Mind our P's, our Q's, stay in our lane, mind our business. Take care of this business. And get it to be the, the most optimal working vehicle that carries every cellular beautiful juices of the divinity within us so that we could have these experiences good, bad, or indifferent. But right now is a teachable, learnable moment to say, is my example something I would want to mentor from someone else? Would I want someone else, big or small, to pick up on what it is I'm putting down? Much of the time, that answer is no. Or you think, well, uh, I dealt with it. You look how great I turned out. Well, okay. Again, that's back there. I'm going to do better tomorrow. That stakes you out of right now. You can absolutely stop, drop, sit, bring it out. make a change <sighs> let it go enter into the visual visceral feeling of love and what it is that you're portraying to others if they were to look at you in a video clip or they were to look at you sitting at your desk or walking by them or whatever it is how's your tone how's your breath what are you exuding are you talking too much are you not talking enough are you elongating the physical are you elongating and expanding out the energetics and if so what's coming with it so as you're wringing things out and letting things go and forgive and tap into that love center, you don't just want to throw it all out there for somebody else to pick up. You want to kind of gather it and have a little ceremony and say, okay, I, I love and I forgive. Please bless this. And I let it go back to source. Not all ricochet rabbiting all up around there for somebody else to get smacked with that crap. That's why I say, don't go out and walk in the woods and leave your shit out there. Don't do it. You're creating harm. You're having no respect for the air and the breeze and the trees and the plants who are trying to filtrate so much you're clogging them up. And that's not right because they're living, breathing consciousness, my friends. That's right. Nature is living, breathing consciousness. It is the barrier reefs of the upper planet surface of planet earth and it has filters and gills and movement and every time a whole bunch of people go out in the woods go, ah, ah, ah. just like that that's what they do oh god it doesn't much better well, it's because I left all my shit out there and then somebody else gets to walk through it or you're clogging up all these beautiful environmental precious leaves and trees and breezes and plants and shrubs flowers and bees and they're all picking it up because everything is everything is is nibbling off of somebody else 
So you got the caterpillars and you got the birds and you got the butterflies and you, you got the bees and you got all these things that are living off of the plant life. And what are you doing? And it's gonna dump my shit. Just a little shit. Yeah. I'm just gonna dump it. No! Stop doing harm. Take care of it yourself. Put your shit in a sack. A spiritual sack. Send it back to source with love. Don't leave it out there for everything else to filter. So now other people in the collective pick it up. It will come back to hit you, to redo. Okay? So don't create stuff that's going to come back unless you know that it is beautiful love that you're echoing out and it's echoing back to you. So clean up your energy. Work with the filtration system of your physical. And put your shit in a sack. Send it up to source and just love all the plants and the trees. As a matter of fact, you can actually go out there and say, hey, you guys, I think you've been filtering a lot. And I just want to give you love from my heart. And maybe I'm going to, I'm going to take all the crap from the trees and the breeze and the plants and the shrubs. I'm going to take it all and I'm going to put it in a shit sack for you. And on your behalf, I'm going to love it. Give it forgiveness and douse it. And then I'm going to send it straight back up to source to be transmuted. Do this to the plants in your house. Do this to every room in your house. Do this to your buildings. Do this to trees. Do this for other people. You can say, you know what? Everybody coming into my office today is carrying sacks of shit. So I'm going to energetically get a bigger sack for their shit and I'm going to put it in there and I'm going to give it some love and I'm going to light it up with more love and I'm going to send it up to source for them. Yeah. So you're kind of cleaning the energy. Cleaning the energy wherever it is. Okay. I know you can do it. I know you can. If you want any lessons, any help, get a session with me. EmbodimentOfTheSoul.com Yeah. You can look up RM Medical Aesthetics and Wellness, too. My stuff's on there, too. Get a session with me. Let's start feeding the love zones and get those pheromones going start putting things in sacks it's like collecting all the trash that gets littered all over your streets and you see people out there volunteering and poking and picking up and bagging do that for people energetically that's right become a trash collector this holiday season that's right you can do it I know you can if I can do it you can do it all right so much love. Please like, subscribe, share, and by all means, remember, comment. Thanks.